Hello, I'm Raquel Redman from Brava Art Press, Visual Arts for Children, Teachers and Parents. I am an artist from South America and I study art at the George Washington University in America and at Queensland College of Art in Queensland, Australia. I have uh, done teaching art to young children like you within the classroom for 25 years and also privately in my studio. I teach art to student teachers at QUT, which is Queensland University of Technology within the School of Early Childhood. I like to teach art to children like you and my uh, projects are good from prep, year prep to year seven. Today we are going to talk about printmaking. Printmaking is about making prints. Have you ever made a print? Probably when you were in kindergarten. Kindergarten children make prints. They make hand prints by applying paint on your hand and then pressing your hand on a piece of paper. That's a hand print. This is a video tutorial on printmaking, card printing from the Brava Art Series Visual Arts for children, teachers and parents. Here I got some samples of prints made by children like you. This is a car print and it's called a walk in the park. Very simple shapes there. We have a hill, we have a, a simple tree, um, a winding path and two people. And again we have a walk in the path, another one. And another one, the same. And another one, a walk in the park. So if we count them, we have one printed on a, a brown paper bag, one on white paper, another one of different color on white paper, and this one has been printed on red, red paper. So here we have four prints that this student made, but you can make many more prints if you like. You can make five, six, seven, whatever number. But in the classroom, it's better to make four because they, you will have other people waiting for you to print your four prints so they can have a chance to print two. Here I have more samples of prints made by children. These children are a bit older. Um, they're probably from grade four to grade seven. Uh, the theme here is, you guess, the circus. So we have uh, a nice elephant there, as you can see, and the ringmaster on the bottom is red, printed on yellow paper. Another print of the circus with the trapeze artists trying to catch each other on the air and the ringmaster on the ground trying to get everything under control. This is a horse done by a very young child. And have you noticed how the horse is made? The horse is made uh, bit by bit. There's a, an oval for the um, uh, body and then the legs and the neck are done separately. There's also here uh, a landscape with a nice um, nice heels there, so you can do something like that. There are many different themes. Here I have one print that involves only shapes. This is done by a grade seven. So if you are a grade seven student or even a grade six and you want to do nice shapes, this is something really interesting for you to do. After viewing these prints, it is time for you to think, what would you like to do? You might think of mm, the park again, or a landscape, horses, a boat, a landscape, or just simple shapes. Now is the time to start um, making the card block. A card block is um, something like this. It's, it's a base. Uh, it's called a straw board, where you are going to glue all your shapes. It could be also something very simple like a piece of um, cardboard from um, a cereal box. We also need 
a lighter card, and it could be a color card from if an old Manila folder. And we need glue, scissors, and a piece of colored chalk. Next, we are going to prepare the block, the card block. So, and it's going to be looking like this at the end, with simple shapes. In this case, we have some trees and some grasses, uh, a big block like this. Or it could be a little block like this, with just shapes. At your desk, you are going to start preparing your card block with the materials that we talked before, with the card, with the glue, the PVA glue, and scissors and a piece of chalk. Now I had Sam with me today and Sam and I are going to prepare a block. Sam is going to make some shapes and I'm going to make some trees. So we are going to start by drawing our shapes on the piece of thin card with the chalk. So Sam, would you like to start doing some shapes, making drawing some shapes there. So I'm going to draw some nice trees, very simple trees, very simple and big. Remember, simple trees, simple shapes, big. So another one, another shape here. We're using this colored chalk because it's uh, much better than using a pencil or a pen. And what do I do next? Cut them out. Exactly. So, cut them out. Very carefully cutting the shapes. We have the first one there. I think some, your shapes should be, you see how big my shapes are? You, are, you have lovely shapes there, but those shapes should be um, a lot bigger. What do you think? Could you make them bigger? You can draw over or start on the other side. Yeah, that's a good idea, start on the other side. But I'm not going to start gluing right away. I'm going to stop and wait until I do all the shapes so I can sort of organize, think about where I want my shapes to go. It's good to give children a piece of card like this, no bigger than this size, because it's hard for them to, if you um, provide them with a bigger piece of uh, card, it will be very difficult for them to manage cutting shapes. So this is a good size. Even if they have to have two pieces, it's good to have just that size. Sam is also cutting his shapes already. You did nice shapes there. Beautiful, big shapes. We have one, two, three very simple shapes. And we are going to, mm, I'm going to think about where they, they will go. Uh, probably one will go a bit further out there. This one will be closer here. I could overlap a bit there. I could uh, then put this shape here. But I have that space there. I don't know what to do. What do you think, Sam, I could do with that? Um, In here. I'd say you could put, you could get heaps of, um, a bit of, a bit of some thick lines. Thick lines. Row them down like, um, like a thick line yeah. like this. So that could be a tree. Yeah. Or it could be a lamp post. Ooh, yes. Okay, how, how about your, your um, shapes? How are you going there? Good. So this is a way to organize things. Before you actually glue, you move around things, thinking what's the place, the best place to go there. Yeah. Uh, in between, that's good. That's good. Organizing first your shapes. Yes. Lots of uh, organization there. And there. So Sam has finished organizing the shapes. Now what are you going to do next? I'm going to glue them down. Excellent. So let's glue it. So we are going to apply the glue. We have 
a bit of cloth there, just in case if you put too much glue, we can just uh, wipe the, the glue off the car. So I got the glue here. The glue has to be applied everywhere because you don't want the uh, shapes to come off when you print. So they have to be really secure with the glue. It's important to think how your shapes are going to go on the base. It's not just about cutting and gluing without thinking. It involves thinking, organizing your shapes. That's my first shape is on. Now, second shape, applying glue all over some, especially on the edges is very important because we don't want those shapes to, came, to come off when you actually do the printing. So here's the other. You see, Sam is applying the glue away from the card. That is a very good idea, Sam, that you, you're applying the glue on the shape away from the card. That's good gluing, Sam. Very, very nice, very nice way of gluing there. I'm not taking too much, so it doesn't over splat. That is very good, very clever. I have other uh, blocks here, card blocks with uh, trees. Um, there are some of them overlap, that's okay if you know how to overlap. It's okay to overlap. Some of them just leave a space in between. There are some grasses on the ground there. And there's another one here, um, a small one, with just shapes like yours. You see, the just shapes, repetition, repetition of shapes. Repetition is when you repeat the same shape to make a pattern. And also on the other side, if you are very, very young and you can't cut things with scissors, you can just rip the paper by hand and then glue it. And you can still make a car printing block like that. Yeah, you have to really think about what are you doing. You have to make a lot of decisions when you uh, do art. Do I put this here? Do I put that there? Do I cut this way? Do I cut this size? So it's important that you make those decisions and you think very carefully. That's very nice, lovely. Very well done. And we got all these um, materials that we share, the glue and the cloth. And that is my last shape here. So I think I'm going to do some grasses, very simple grasses. So Simple grasses will be just like, like that, like very simple. And then I'll cut, cut that way. And if you try to cut this way like that, it's going to be very difficult. So you cut always like this, from the outside to the inside, like that, outside to inside, outside to inside. And it's a lot easy, you see? That I might. Did you finish there? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just put the grass on and we can, um, we are going to probably do the printing. The next step is to print. How do you feel about printing? Good. Are you excited about printing? Yeah. I think it's pretty good, it's going to be pretty good. So would you like to show your um, block, cap printing block, that's good? That's stamps, and I got the other one here. After you finish your card, after you have done all the cutting and all the gluing, and it's ready, um, it's good to let it dry, and probably minimum overnight, or ideally a few days. And when all is dry and ready, you can start printing. Now is the time to start printing. What do you think, Sam? Yay. Would you like to do some printing? Yes, Yay. good, good. Now that the card blocks are finished here, uh, it is important to prepare the printing area. This is the paper that we are going to use for the big card, and this is the paper that we are going to use to print the small card. So it is important to do this. Your teacher probably will have to do this before you start printing. Just uh, what I'm doing here, I'm tracing the size of the paper that you are going to print on. So take it off, put the card sort of in the center here, 
and trace the size of the card. Your teacher will have to do that beforehand so students will know that the card will go here and the paper will go right on top. The printing is the most exciting part because you can do one, two or three or four prints. Here is the small size paper to print the small size card block and your teacher, if you have a small size, will have to do this, exactly the same, but a different size. So that is the size of the paper that we are going to print on. And this is going to be, um, yes, place that in the middle. Trace the size of the printing block, printing card block. And we are ready for the printing area. This is called the printing area, where you mark the size of your paper, the size of the card. And we have here two trays. These trays are simply fish and ship trays. If your teacher doesn't have a thing like this, uh, probably mom or dad from home could bring a couple of fish and chip trays. Now for the class of 25, uh, you will probably need to have about four sets of two. Four sets of two fish and ship trays because one will take the paint and the other one will take the card block that you are going to print. A paint shirt is very important because uh, you have to protect your uniform. It's just a men's shirt like that and we have cut off the um, sleeves and make that hole a bit bigger so it's easy for you to, to wear. So you put it in there, it's arms through the holes and then you are ready. This tray will take the paint and we are going to apply the paint across here. You see what I'm applying there? It's a line. It's a, it's a line of paint and you will see why we are going to do this paint of the line of paint. Then this is the card and from the line of paint, you are going to pull out a little bit of paint, not the whole lot. Pull out gently and then start rolling out. Let the roller to roll out. That's the job of the roller, so a bit more paint. Rolling up and down. And then you are going to go to the other tray where the card is and you apply that paint on the block, on the card block that you prepared before and now it's nice and dry. So you can, and also it's important to roll the other way across so you have a good uh, coverage. You, you cover everything, you cover all the corners and all the edges there. Now it's ready to print. So we have here the area already marked for printing and the card is going to be on the center here, facing up. The paint is going to face, face up to you. The paper is going to be on top and it's very easy to remember that that line is going to match this edge of the paper like this or that line could meet the edge of the paper like this. Let it down. You see I'm holding the, the paper there, I'm not letting it go. Let it down, press gently. So if you do this, the paper and the block, the card block will stick together and they, they won't move. Now with the other hand, you are going to hold the paper down and with flat hand here, you rub. You see, can you see the image there? Yeah. You sort of see, yeah. don't forget the edges here and the corners are really, really important. Flat and nicely. Do not press very hard, not with a finger, not with your knuckles. Flat hand, like that, all over, especially on the edges and the corners. Then you are ready to pull the print, and there is the print.
like that. What do you think? Good. Okay. So would you like to do one? Yes, please. Okay. Now, there is the block. Here is are the trays. Where is the block going? The card block. Um, Where does it go? On the ones with roll. Yeah. On there. Good. That's very good. And then you pull the paint down, roll it out. You have to let the roller roll like this. It's not like this because it, that it will it will print really badly. Just let the roller roll. Okay. Yep. Up and down, longer, longer. Yeah, longer, longer, yep. That's good. Now, I think you are ready to apply the paint on the block. Yeah. So you apply up and down, up and down, and then across. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the way to the edge. If you look at the edges, all this, the, the edges have to be covered. Yeah, very good, excellent. Now the other side. Yeah, just you can just let it go. It's not going to move. Let it go from, from the other hand. Yeah, the other edge. Pressing down a bit harder there, so the paint will go onto the uh, block. Now put your roller back here, and we are going to move the tray away, and you are going to. Pick up your block and put it where? Where are you going to put the block? Right in the middle. Okay. You pick, you do that. That is very good. The next one is you're going to put the paper. So you see the yeah. paint is facing you yeah. this way and you're going to put the paper facing down like this. So uh, you are going to match that edge that line with the edge of the paper. So match it and let it dry, let, let it go like that. You put your hand like that yeah. so they stick together. Now with a very gentle movement, press and rub. Flat hand, don't forget, flat, always flat hand because otherwise you get the, the finger marks. Yeah, if, if you do fingers, you get lines and you want to do the whole lot. Flat hand all over, corners, and edges are very important. Pretty good. Press a bit more. Yes. Around this area, yep. I think it's ready. You, you see, the moment you start seeing your shapes behind, it's sort of ready. And I think you might be ready to pull the print. It's called pull the print. So you pick it up, press down, Oh, that's a lovely print. Let's put it there. What a beautiful print. Beautiful. Are you happy with that? Yep. Would you like to do another one? Yes, please. What do you do then to do the second one? You, you use exactly the same thing. Well, so you do exactly the same thing, but if you want to, you can do a different color on your other print. A different color paper, you mean? Yeah. Okay, so you have the, the tray there to hold the card and the tray that holds the paint. Roll it out. So I'm doing exactly the same thing on the same side. Yeah, the same thing again. You have to do the same thing again and again according to the number of prints that you are going to make. If you are going to make two prints to do exactly the same twice. If you are going to do four prints, you have to do exactly the same how many times? Four. Four. Roll it out, roll it out, thin it down. A uh, bit more on this side. Yeah, I think you have enough now to, uh, to print. Yeah, okay. Put your, pick up your card block, your card block in the middle and uh, we are going to use uh, another color. What do you think? Yellow. You can print on any paper you like. You can print on color paper, you can print on white, you can have even an old uh, telephone book and print on those pages. 
So it's very versatile. That means that you can do many things with it. Yep. So excellent, very good technique. Edges and corners, flat hand. Excellent technique. And the middle, we have to do a bit more in the middle. Mm, good, what do you think? Great. I think it's ready to pull. As soon as you start seeing the image behind, um, I think it's it's th that point is, is ready to... Oh, another very good print there. Are you happy? Yep. These are our finished prints. Did you like printing some? Yep. Was it good? Yeah. How many prints did you make? Two. Excellent, that's very good. So when you print, when you finish each print, you go and hang them up because we have to make a space on the table. We can't leave them on the table because you have to keep printing. So what are we going to do with this? Hang them up. Hang them up. Okay, let's hang them up. Here we have a closed rack with pegs to hang our prints. Sam, would you like to hang your print there? If you move on the side there, you can show your prints, your beautiful print. And I'll hang up mine here, there. And these prints will take 15 minutes to be dry. And then um, you can collect your prints, put them away until the next session. Perhaps your teacher might like to display the prints or discuss the uh, process of printmaking with you. This has been a presentation of Brava Art Press, printmaking a video workshop. And um, I'd like to ask Sam um, a couple of questions. What did you learn, Sam? I learned that you can put other shapes together and make patterns, and how you can roll, um, how you can roll paint to make, to print things other than just using a printing machine. Excellent, that's very good. And did you enjoy the experience? Yes. Would you do it again? Yeah. Probably another day? Yeah. So you can take that, that is your blog, your CAD blog, and do it again another time. Okay. Thank you, Sam. You have done really well. Congratulations. If you would like to find more information about printmaking for young children, CAD printing in this case, please visit bravaartpress.com. Thank you for your attention and happy printing.